Windows 10 is end of support as of October 14th, 2025. That means that after that date, you either need to be running Windows 11 or have taken up the Microsoft Extended Security Updates offer. If you don't do either of those though, what actually happens? Let's look at this in more detail. Before we do though, it would be great if you could hit the subscribe button for me. I try not to mention it too often, but and you might not even see the effect of that small gesture, but I assure you it does make a huge impact on the channel and how many people get to see these videos. If you subscribe, I promise to keep making this type of clear, calm, informative content for you. Thank you. October 14th, 2025 is also the second Tuesday in October. That means it's Patch Tuesday. It's very interesting that Microsoft have chosen this specific date because well, one of the most important impacts of Windows 10 being in the support is that it no longer receives security updates from Microsoft. According to Microsoft, Windows 10 22H2 will receive updates through October 14th, meaning it will receive a security update that day. That means technically you're no worse off from an update perspective until the next patch Tuesday on November 11th. What happens after November 11th though? Well, your computer definitely isn't going to stop working, although that's always possible with Windows. It's also not going to suddenly get slower. The updates in recent months have been security updates, not features or improvements. So what should you watch out for? Well, most importantly, malware, viruses and scammers. With no security updates, any security issues that are uncovered in Windows 10 won't be fixed for you. So it's only a matter of time before someone, whether that's a lone hacker or some crypto rich hacking group, find a backdoor into your PC. When they do, then, well, I'd rather not imagine what happens then. What about scammers? Well, they're definitely going to be taking advantage of this too. They'll call you up and offer free fixes or try to prove your PC is going to break and then they'll either get you to give them some credit card details or they'll try and install something nasty on your PC. So what can you do? Like I said at the start, you can either upgrade to Windows 11, it's completely free, or enroll in the Extended Security Updates program. Check out these two videos if you'd like to learn more about those. See you next time.